What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V Motherfucking 3. How's everybody doing? Did you like where I left off last episode? Has it been enough days? Have I made you sit and marinate on how I left you off last time? I'm really sorry I had to leave it where I did, but, you know, I was crunched for time at the moment when I was recording. I had a busy weekend. I was out of town all weekend. You can tell that I'm not lying to you. My face is completely red from being burned the fuck out of at Warp Tour. But hey, at least I had fun. Warp Tour was fucking awesome. Um, if you want to hear more about that, you know, ask me about it in the comments of the fucking Discord. But yeah. Uh, regardless of that, where we left off in the game, uh, a lot of people were questioning my reactions and my thoughts and my apparent dislike for the case or the you know the trial and how things went and it's not necessarily that i i think it was bad i guarantee you 100 percent nothing about this trial is inherently bad it was written really well it tricked the fuck out of me there's a lot of little tells that i did not notice along the way in the chapter and that's completely on me but i'm allowed in my opinion when i'm in the middle of things you know off the top of my head i'm allowed to complain and go god damn it fuck you game I'm allowed to, to, to say these things in the heat of the moment, all right? Especially when it's twisting the fuck out of what I wanted. And yes, that is where most of my anger or, you know, dislike for what was going on at the end of the trial came from. I didn't want that to happen. That was not what I wanted. It's not that I wanted to be wrong, but I didn't want... What I didn't want specifically is I didn't want to switch protagonists. And not because I like Kaede specifically. I just really liked that... The protagonist is a girl or at least was a girl at least i'm assuming and this is remember this is all operating on the assumption that the end of this trial goes exactly as i'm expecting like or as i should say the verdict of this trial goes exactly as i'm expecting now one thing i also forgot which i'll mention in a second um well i should just say it one thing i also forgot is that like just in the heat of the moment i didn't forget that it is a thing uh that whoever did this kill technically doesn't have to face the trial the punishment of killing somebody right they get to graduate right away so technically the fact that Kaede Kaede Ka did the kill accidentally or not you know accidentally on purpose thinking that she was going to kill the mastermind well at least she gets to leave so Kaede's not going to die that makes me think Kaede's going to be more she's going to be more part of the story for later maybe I mean there might be even more to that I can I can even go bigger and better and say she's part of the whole conspiracy in the first place but I won't go there yet, even though it's totally a possibility, since she's the one that gets to quit the game now. Assuming that that all goes the way that they, you know, that the the motive to not, you know, to do the first kill was to graduate. If that still goes as it was originally intended, then obviously, yeah, Kaede can still be a play, player in this game. But the fact that they're going to switch the pro tag on me to Shuichi kind of pisses me off. Not necessarily that I don't like Shuichi at all, but... We're going from a new kind of protagonist that was a girl with personality, and she was different, and now we're going back to ultimate, boring, detective, Mick hat kid, black hair, normal ass looking motherfucker. Like, that's not what I wanted, man. I wanted him to be more than he was, or more than he looks like he is anyways. I know there's still a long way to go in this game. I could be completely off base by saying this, but first impressions mean a lot to me right here when we're in this early in the game. And I liked having the girl protagonist, and that has been taken away from me, apparently. Again, I don't know this for a fact yet. And obviously, there are some tells that I probably should have noticed. And even one in particular that I didn't even think of when it happened. But I noticed it when it happened. I didn't say anything because I was still mad, but I noticed it. Uh, Shuichi's actually number one on the list of characters. While Kaede's like number 11 or something like that, if I remember correctly. Like, when it went around the trial room, she was number 11, I think. Or she was in, you know, somewhere in that range. While Shuichi was in spot number 1. And I think that probably should have been a big sign that he was gonna be around for a while if he's in the number 1 spot. I don't know. Again, this game could have twisted me in any one of two ways, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't want it to be Kaede because I wanted to keep the female protagonist. And that's why I was upset about the whole situation. Again... I have no complaints about the twist itself. I think switching pro tags on somebody is a great way to start off a game in general. Like, that's it was brilliant. And they got me with all the little details about Kaede not dropping items and all that. I get it now. Trust me. I get it. And there's probably even more that I didn't even notice or nobody told me about yet. But just in general, I get it. And, I mean, 
kudos on people who fucking got it. Good for you. But don't tell me the first time you played this game that you got it. I would imagine about 95% of people did not. Maybe even higher percent than that. So don't even play with me right now. Anyways, have I babbled enough at the beginning of this episode? And, oh, and the other thing I was going to say is I, I left off the last episode saying we're, gonna, we're about to lead to some sadness right now. I actually think we might not because, I, like I said, I kind of forgot in the moment that Kaede, even though she did the kill, probably not going to get killed right now. Probably. I don't know that for a fact yet. We're about to find out. Um, so, yeah, we're literally right after the verdict. Monokuma declaring the victory that we picked a, the right person. Well, at this point, it goes without saying, but you all voted correctly. The blackened who killed Rentaro Amami is the ultimate penis, Kaede Akamatsu. Uh-huh. Well, doesn't she look, uh, okay with it? Why are you so glad about it, though, Kaede? What? What? Good? Don't screw around. What do you mean? Oh, wait, what was his voice again? What do you mean, good? Is this how you want it to end? That's not true. Not really, but it could have turned out a lot worse, so this is fine, too. Only Rantaro's dead. <laughs> Nobody else, at least. I don't get it. It's not fine. This is super horrible. The worst ever. <laughs> yeah, how did it come to this? Please. Kaede. What would possess you to do something like this? And I've had multiple people say they hate my robot voice for him. To the, to that, I say I don't care. First of all, he's a robot. I'll give him a goddamn robot voice if I want. And second of all, I'm not doing another goddamn high schooler, normal-ass kid voice. I already do, like, 80 of those. I'm gonna do a robot voice. I know, like, it wasn't like somebody, like, told me to change it, but I'm just pointing that out. It's, it's gonna continue to happen. And I still maintain that... He ain't a goddamn robot, and if he is, he gonna be a very integral part of what's going on around here. Or, you know, something. There's gonna be a big twist with him if he's an actual robot. And if he's not, it's just gonna be hilarious. In fact, I'm almost tempted to pick him to hang out with next when we get free time again, just so I can see if we can get some tells that he's either a real person or he's actually a robot. I wanna know. So he might be on my list of people I'm intrigued by. Maybe. Because personality-wise, I don't care. But he's a fucking robot, that's the intriguing part. Or is he? <sighs> anyway, what would possess her? Well, she, we already explained, bro. She said she wanted to kill the rat. Well, she didn't say it, but, you know, we, we've implied that she tried to kill the mastermind and failed. Or at least we think she failed. We don't know. Gunta, no can accept this. Not unless you explain. Real? Yeah, I won't be satisfied. Until I hear straight from you. Hey. Damn, I can't even remember the voices I'm doing, man. Kaede, please. Okay, please allow me a few more moments of your time, then. It's just like Shuichi said. I was after the Mastermind this entire time. I wanted to kill the Mastermind, and I thought doing that would end the killing game. But... But why did you try to kill them? Maybe they could have been captured. Um... If it hadn't been for the time limit, I probably would have done that. But the time limit meant that capturing the Mastermind was less likely to work, you know? But the mas Because the Mastermind could have just played dumb to run out the clock and kill us all. Yeah. I was worried about that happening. Yeah. So you sought to kill the mastermind instead. That's right. I had to come... I had, uh, I had made up my mind just before we set up the cameras in the library. I thought it was my last chance to save everyone. I couldn't let that chance pass me by. I had to save everyone no matter what. <laughs> Even if you had to kill someone? Yeah. That's right. I thought that killing the mastermind was our best shot at escaping this place together. I, I really believed it too. Kaede. But... Oh, Kaede, it never dawned on you. As soon as you thought that thought entered your head, Monokuma had you right where he wanted. Because what mattered most to Monokuma is that the killing game started. You really don't... Regardless of your reasons, the moment you felt the urge to kill, you had already lost. You agreed to be part of this killing game when you allowed murder to fill your heart. Wait. Wait, to put it like that... But he's not wrong. She's the reason the killing game's finally started. Uh, no. But if Kaede hadn't done anything, we'd all be dead by now. Right. Kaede, save everyone. We can no blame her. I or no can blame that. her. I know. You don't need to remind me. That's why I'm so pissed off. Pissed off at myself for being so so useless. Um, Kokichi, that's enough. I can see through your act. Yeah. Look, that obvious, huh? Yeah. Liar. 
full of lies. That's right. But Kokichi's right. I was being played. And I didn't even kill the mastermind. I killed one of our dear friends instead. What I did was terrible. So terrible. So unforgivable. I took an innocent life. I'm nothing but a horrible murderer. You should all hate, blame, and be disgusted by me. Wait. Kaede, please calm down. After we found Rantaro's body, when I realized he wasn't the mastermind, I thought about ending this by confessing to you what I had done. But I couldn't, because of the Monokuma's bl first blood purge. Yeah, see, if he admitted it, or she admitted it, rather, then she would have got to go, and everybody would have been pissed at her, right? So she probably wanted to stick around to explain herself. So at least we got to hear that. Does she still get to be free to go? That's what I'm curious to see. Your... Oh, I see. If you confess there, and then you would have been able to leave. But you decided you couldn't leave this place by yourself, so you kept quiet. Because of the first blood perk, you were forced to hide the truth from us. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I see. So the first blood perk worked against the blackened rather than for them. But at the same time, I thought, if I did this for everyone, then instead of making things easier by confessing, I thought I should lie to you all so it would motivate you to keep moving forward. Then... Is that the reason for the trial? To reveal the mastermind? Because... I felt if I didn't do this, then Rantaro's death would have been meaningless. Well then... We were searching for both the culprit and the mastermind during this class trial. Oh, yeah! Ah, Kaede did mention that. She did. But that's why I want... Why I want to end all of the terrible things happening to us. <clears throat> I'll defeat the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll even use this class trial to do that. She did say that. She did. I... I never wanted to keep my crime a secret. I was going to tell you all eventually. But before I did, I wanted to expose the mastermind first. Then the killing game would have ended and everyone but me would be saved. Uh... I thought that was the best way I, would I could atone for killing Rantar Rantaro. Sorry. This is my fault. I was wrong. There was no mastermind. What? You were wrong? Didn't you say the Mastermind was one of us? Uh, okay. That's what I thought at first, but in the end, we have nothing. No one made any moves at the time limit. The trial was useless. Let's see. Even when Shuichi was about to be voted as the Blacken, still, they did not appear. Maybe. Yeesh, that seriously was a close one. If Kaede had just kept her mouth shut, we'd all be dead right now. Maybe. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? Right, Shuichi. But... On the other hand, she's only in this mess because she decided to say something at that moment. That's... I wanted to protect Kaede, but I also wanted to unmask the mastermind. But even when the killer was about to be condemned, they remained hidden. Sorry. That has to mean that the mastermind is not among us at all. After all, I still have a hard time believing that. What? So Kaede had the wrong idea the whole time? All her actions were taken under Shuichi's flawed logic. Uh, okay. That's why this is my fault. All this happened because my detective work was wrong. If I hadn't been so stupid. If I never said anything about a mastermind to Kaede. Rantaro wouldn't have died. And Kaede wouldn't be a murderer. This is all my fault. That's wrong. No, it's not. Huh? Kaede? Because... I killed him. Not you. Right? Right? Didn't I? But... But, Kaede, why did you set such a convoluted trap? If your intent was to kill the Mastermind, there was no reason for you to cover your tracks. Jeez. Isn't it obvious? It's because she didn't want Shuichi to know. Huh? Me? Yeah. Of course, but I didn't want everyone else to know either. Because I said I wanted to escape this place with everyone. Because... But you guys wouldn't want to be friends with a girl who killed someone, would you? <laughs> be friends? Kaede put a lot of thought into this. Mm. She put so much thought into this, it drove her to commit murder like a lunatic. God, you're such a dumbass. Yeah. I know, right? I'm such an idiot. However, we only survived the time limit because of that idiocy. Right. Yes, we still live thanks to you. Or it was, we still alive thanks to you. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> Kaede, I, I didn't know how, but I wanted to get you, I wanted to get out of here with you. I wanted to be friends, and maybe more than friends. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Damn. So you're saying everything you did was because you were thinking of us? And you hid that 
You killed him just to stay and help us. How did things- Hi, hello! Alright, alright, that's it! What? Wh what? What do you- what do you mean? What do you mean that's it? Ah! Father, are you getting bored? That's right! You know how the pops gets. He can't stand this kind of tearjerker schlock. <laughs> I kiss up cry. <laughs> I see nothing gets past my adorable little, adorable little cubs. I don't even let appetizers get past me, especially if someone else bought them. Now then. But we can't let this boring display grind the action to a halt, so... Time to make things interesting. Uh-oh. See, this is what I was worried about. Huh? Make things interesting. Kills, kills, kills. No! Ah, see, this is what I didn't want to happen. I thought maybe he would hold to his word, but maybe because of the way things went down, he decides it's punishment time anyways. Shit. Well, guys, maybe we are in for some sadness. Let's see what we got. It's punishment time! <laughs> punishment? You mean Kaede's execution? Don't screw around. No freaking way! There's no way we'll let you do that! Hey! Oh god. Exizzle's assemble! <laughs> this is not the Avengers. Oh god. I don't think you're gonna be able to stop him. Just saying. Punishment time is a sacred segment. You're not allowed to interfere. Here we go. And if you even try to interfere, we'll just crush you with these here Exizzles. Exizzles. That's the first time I got to hear him say it. And I didn't read it. It's Probably one person dies instead of everyone. Probably. Like hell am I just gonna sit here and do what you say? Kaede fought with her life on the line, and so will I. Gonta will face you all. Times like this are why Gonta became strong. Gentlemen never back down, and neither will Gonta. This is the perfect chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines. Perfect. Yeah, I'll help. I can You can't everyone, do shit. Stop! Uh oh. Stop it. Please, just stop. Kaede. I. Enough, you guys. I've already prepared myself. You're giving up? Why? But why? You said you'd never give up. That we'd get out of here together. That's what you said, Kaede. Damn it. So why are you giving up now? Did you mean what you said? I know we could do something. Don't give up till the end. No. I'm not giving up because I have you. Huh? What? You know? Even after I'm gone, my wish will still be here. So I'm counting on you all. I'm entrusting my wish to every one of you. I believe in you. I believe that you all will make it through this somehow. You have to live. You guys better live. Don't go dying on me now. End this ridiculous killing game. Survive and get the hell out of this place. It's a promise. And then... Be friends after you escape, okay? I think you'll all be the best of friends. Yeah. Affirmative. Kaede. I shall take that request. I will do my utmost to fulfill your final request. <laughs> I won't give up. I'll get out of here no matter what. <sighs> Don't I work hard and keep friends safe till very end? Bye. Well, Kaede, you definitely weren't boring. Well, now. <laughs> now then, let's get started. Now then, I have a special punishment. Special oh, punishment. sorry. Are you done? Okay, I thought he was going to read the whole thing. I have a very special punishment prepared for the ultimate penis, Kaede Akabatsu! Wait, wait a second. Kaede, please, don't... Hey. Shuichi, you better not lose. You can't lose! You can't lose in this killing game. I know you can beat it. It's punishment time! Are you guys ready? Let's give it everything we got. I believe in you. So please, believe in yourself. It's a promise. He said promise. Well, guys, here we go. Get ready for a bumpy ride. It's game over for my guilty Kaede friend.
the hell? Why did he jump in the way? The fuck? Well, Rip Kaede. They played piano with her ass, literally. Wow. Why did Monokid jump in the way, though? That's the blue one's name, right? That was the blue one? That was weird. That was weird. I wonder if there's a re There must have been a reason for that, right? Or maybe just every trial, one of the mono kids will go down. Well, yeah, because even in the background, I, I see... Sorry, my finger's, like, below. But in the background, I see that he's not there. Weird. Anyway. <sighs> Rip Kaede. Fuck. God damn it, man. God damn it. So now what? I mean, I know what, but god damn it. That's all I can say. <laughs> Fucked everything up. So now... Well, there goes any possibility that I... Well... Not any, but uh, some of the possibility that she was still going to be involved with the story. I guess there's still a chance some of this was faked, but I doubt it. We just watched her go curse splat, so I'm going to go with no. Or maybe. The moment it was over, I felt my legs give out under me. All right, remember, now our main character is Shuichi, so all these thoughts are in his head. What I just saw didn't feel real. As if all reality had vanished, and the only thing left was a fictional world. Real or not, Kaede was gone. Kaede Akamatsu no longer existed in our world. What? Huh? What the? Why is Monokit? Monodam, what have you done? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Ah, gross, she puked again. Oh, well. But this tension ain't so bad, you know. Finally feels like a proper killing game. If anything, we could stand to use a little more tension in our lives, right, Dad? Oh, my sweet darling Monokid claimed as collateral damage. No, he fucking jumped in the way. I don't care. I don't care what you say. He fucking dove in the way. This is a nightmare. This is unacceptable. My precious cup is. On second thought, I guess it's okay. After all, I still got four more cups. Whew. I'm glad I. You kids came in bulk. Huh? It's okay? I'm shocked. Our existence means that little, huh? What's done is done. What's dead is dead. No point crying over crushed cups. <laughs> Unless you want to end up like these sad sacks. Yeah. Like everybody else in the room, you mean, right? <laughs> what? What in the world is this? Really? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Talk about overkill. Amen. Atua, please grant Kaede soul eternal repose. I can't believe this happened to Kaede. I liked her so much. Ah, <laughs> eh, quit bullshit, Miss Alkokichi. You don't care. <laughs> All this adrenaline creates such an exquisite feeling of despair. It's moments like this that make all the killings worth it. This is... Why are you doing such a terrible thing? You? You're the worst of all, or worst of the worst. Does human life have no value to you at all? Hey, huh? hey I know human life is precious. I'm not a monster, you know. Because <laughs> if human life wasn't precious, ending it wouldn't be nearly as much fun. Extreme. There's no greater joy than witnessing such a display of despair entertainment. <laughs> oh god, this guy. You've surpassed psychotic by a wide margin. What now? I don't think I've ever felt quite this irritated. I won't forgive you for this. Got that? I won't ever forgive you. Oh. Spoken like a marked man. Excuse me. What is your objective, Monokuma? What are you trying to pull? Do you hate us? If so, have we done something to make you hate us? Huh? Hate you? <laughs> Who can say? Hey, huh? That's your job to figure out. If you really want to know what's going on, you're going to have to work for it. Though the corpse formerly known as Rantaro may have had a hunch. Huh? huh? What is it? What do you mean, what was Rantaro's hunch? <laughs> what indeed? He did say he would end this game, and he also knew about the hidden door. Could that be all that could all could that be at all related to this hunch you claim he had? <laughs> I wonder. Thank you. Hey, what's the hell this hunch you're going on about? Spill it. I wonder. If you have no intention of telling us, then keep your mouth shut. Cause you're focusing on Kaede instead of her deadweight victim. Well, well, it's not his fault he was useless. He died before his talent could be revealed. 
he had if he had lived long enough to reveal it, maybe he would have been more useful. Oh well, he's dead and that's that. That's the indifference of death for you. However, he wasn't really the mastermind, was he? Are you still pestering me with these annoying questions? Aren't you guys focusing a little too much on whether or not there's a mastermind? If you keep this up, you're all gonna end up like Kayane. What? What? Here. Maybe spend less time worrying about nonsense and more time watching your back, okay? Right. You never know who's gonna become the next killer. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I wonder what kind of killing game we'll get to see next. Damn it. You may have gotten us this time, but We'll, we'll get you next time. You'll see. Why? Oh, wow. I forgot about Himiko. Himiko. She hasn't said a damn word this whole time today. Why are you all psyched up? That's nice. It's nice to see that at least one of you has some schputz, chutzpa around here. Chutzpa? Chutzpa? I have a feeling you're going to live for a while. Thanks. Thanks. I'll do my best. Don't screw around. <laughs> Shut the hell up. We're not going to have another killing game. I, Kaito Momoda, am not going to let you have your way anymore. Got it? I'm going to punch that grin right off your face for sure. Is that so? Oh, really? That seems unlikely. I'm pretty sure you won't live in long, eno long enough to do that. Damn. Ugh. Well... Anyway, you guys have a lot to think about. Work hard and do your best to graduate, because the fun's only just begun. <laughs> this is absurd, man. Hey, hey Monodam, explain yourself. I get that Monokia was obnoxious and rude, but that was way over the line. Wait, so Monodam threw him in the way? I might have to rewatch that, because I didn't I didn't catch that he threw him. Did he actually do that? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I did it for us. <laughs> He's the one that gets a robot voice for sure. Hey, wait, Monodam. Where are you going? It's getting interesting. He probably killed him as payback for all the bullying. What an interesting turn of events. Maybe he'll kill one at a time, and then he'll be the last one standing. I guess we're going to wait and see. And with that, Monokuma and the Cubs left, and only we remained in the courtroom. I, I don't think I can take all this. I can't stand this anymore. I feel like I'm going to go crazy. No. Samuki, you mustn't give up hope. Is there even hope to be had here? The room feels utterly drained of it. <sighs> oh, guide it. What kind of degenerate male cries in public? It's so rude. Um, but, Tenko, you're crying too. Hey. Now's not the time to point that out, Kibo. Just let it be. Prayer time. In times like this, we should pray for Kaede's soul so she can rest in peace. What? How's anyone supposed to rest in peace after getting killed like that? I don't know. What are we gonna do from now on? Yeah, I'd like to know too. I'm so over this already. That's enough! Ah, shut up! Shut up! You all just need to shut up! Kaido's voice boomed in the air, and the room went silent. Damn. Every single one of you and your meek little complaints. Shut up! You're pissing me the hell off! Damn it. But who's the one pissing me off the most? Dumbass. It's you, Shuichi! Oh, huh? shit. What? What? What did he do? Why are you kerpowing Shuichi? Clench your teeth! Kaito! You are supposed to say that before you <laughs> hit your teeth. Did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you. She believes in you. That she passed her wish on to you. Yeah, you bitch. But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma. You call yourself a man? I mean, what's he supposed to say, dude? Damn it. What's the matter? Say something already. Dumbass. I just hit you. Aren't you pissed off? What's your problem? Enough, Kaito. Mm -hmm. Sucker punching is pretty low, even for a low-life general male like you. You better knock it off or I'm going to explode my Neo Aikido all over your face. <laughs> sure, fine. Are you okay? Shuichi, are you okay? Uh, okay. I I'm fine. For now. Please stop. This sort of altercation is just a waste of time. Mm. Gonta not sure it's a waste of time, but Gonta agree. Fighting not good. Then... Can we just leave now? Staying here will only make us more depressed. <laughs> well put. I hope re ho heartedly. Sorry. You all should go on ahead without me. Um. Why? Is there a reason you wish to stay in a place like this? Uh, um, I want to be alone for a while. Uh, just for a little bit. But, but, 
We can't just leave you here by your... No. Sumugi, perhaps it would be best if we al allowed him some privacy for now. <sighs> okay, I suppose. Shuichi, don't beat yourself up, okay? Yeah. Yep, just hit the reset button on your feelings and you'll be happy and cheerful in no time. Listen. Being a tad insensitive is important for survival. It helps one avoid suicidal thoughts. Hey. Gota will go back too. Let Gota know if you need his help, okay? Okay. So everyone out? I guess everyone's leaving. One by one, everyone climbed aboard the elevator. Except... I mean... Shuichi. I, know, I don't know how well you know New Kaede, but why don't you try going to her ultimate lab? Huh? What do you mean? That's right. Monokuma set the room up, so there's probably not a lot there to remember her by. But there should at least be a bunch of little things she liked. Uh, okay. Things Kaede liked? Listen up. Understand? There's only one way to get through this awful feeling. No one's going to be able to console you if you're just sitting here alone. I mean... If anyone's going to help you, it'll be her. In your memories. Alrighty then. With those words, he stepped onto the elevator. And I was left here all alone. Before I realized it, I got to my feet. I just started walking and I was headed toward... The Ultimate Pianist Research Lab. The game actually led me here, huh? Even though I totally already explored it myself. Maybe there'll be something that wasn't here before. Wait. The music wasn't strewn all about the room here before. That seems new. Uh, There seems like a lot of things that are slightly different. I don't remember the music being everywhere. I don't think it was. It's not as if there would be any memories here. But these are the things she was really passionate about. And that's good enough for now. What a magnificent piano. I would have liked to hear her play it, if only just once. Ah, that reminds me. That song that Kaede was talking about. Of course, uh, it must be here somewhere. I stood in front of the shelves of CDs and searched each one thoroughly, end to end. It should be here somewhere. Where is it? Ah. Oh. Uh, here it is. This is it. I took the CD from the shelf and placed it in the player in the corner. Soon a soft melody had filled the classroom. My body relaxed, totally enveloped in the music. It was a strange feeling, the sound seeping into my body. Before long, I began to close my eyes. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, <sighs> a song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too, but I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. Damn it. So please, be more confident. Please. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Yeah, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it, but no, I'll do it. You better. I have to believe in myself. I won't be afraid anymore. I will face the truth for everyone. I won't give up. For your sake, Kaede, I promise. From the bottom of my heart, I promise you, Kaede. Yep, that's our promise. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Goodbye. Goodbye and good night. Cause she's dead as fuck. Holy shit. Now we are somebody else entirely. Well, guys, I think that's the end of chapter one. And there goes Rantaro and Kaede. Down to 14 to be continued. My goodness. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't try to squeeze that into the last recording sesh because I would not have fit that. That was like a good, that was probably a whole episode on its own, honestly. We'll see how I split this up after the fact. I'm probably just going to keep going for a while, but this could potentially be the end of a first episode today. But regardless, we got the musical note hairpin. Usually we get a memento for the person who uh, did the killing. 
That would be a musical no hairpin from Kaede. Great. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save it and be sad AF, because that's what we do around here. People just die, and we move on. That's all we can do, right? Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> they were so young and talented. How could this happen? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. I can't say it too loudly, but they were probably killed by that group. I thought so. Oh, no. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. I wanted them to live, for our sake at least. Jeez. I wish they lived. No, they should have lived. They had to, for this world. Hmm? Well, that's an intriguing little uh, intermission before the next chapter starts. I don't know what to make of that, but Kaede was the only one on that, you know, what looked like a board of people who might have died. I'm guessing we're going to get that piece by piece as people die. Huh. Rantaro wasn't there, though. That might mean something. That might mean something later. Alright, keep that in mind, I guess. Let's keep going. Wait, who, who's hiding and where are you hiding? Come out. No more hiding. Come out now. Oh. Hey! Hey, come out, bugs. Where are, where are you all hiding? Just when Gonta think he finds some, they gone. Weird. Really weird. Plenty trees, grass, water, sun. But no bugs. Why? Weird. So weird. Hey, bugs! If any bugs here, come out. Gonta want to talk to you. Hmm? What that? Something on ground, in grass. Words written on it? What'd you find, buddy? Whoa? Horse A? What? Uh-oh. Ding dong. Oh, Lord. Somebody's at the door. Somebody answer the door. Also, oh... We get to see all the Monokumas we've collected now. <laughs> see, we didn't even know that was a thing because we didn't know we weren't playing as the main pro tag. <sighs> God damn it. Anyway, ah. Yeah, we get it. It's probably Gonta, isn't it? Who is it? Wait, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, God. With the doorbell hurrying me along, I went to open the door. It was Gonta, right? No, it's this fuckface. Hey, what are you doing? It's morning already. Huh? Kaito? Hi, Kaito. What are you doing here? Uh, um, uh do you need something? Come on, man. Well, yeah, food! Jeez. I was gonna eat breakfast with everyone in the dining hall, but you weren't there. That's why I came to get you. Huh? Huh? I, I, but I don't recall making any plans. I mean... You should be at the dining hall anyway. I mean, where else are you gonna eat breakfast? Hey! I, I don't usually eat breakfast, so... Uh -huh. Are you serious? If you don't have breakfast, then what do you do... What do you eat in the morning? Huh? Um, I just said I don't eat. Right. Ah, whatever. Let's get going. The others are waiting. Uh, uh, wait, I'm not ready. Let me get my... Actually, never mind. I don't need that anymore. His hat? Did he take his hat off? I hope he took his hat off. Okay. Okay, let's go. Ah. Oh, right. I was going to tell you. My bad. I'm sorry about yesterday, you know, for slugging you like that. Huh? huh? Uh, that... It's okay. I see. Then let's go. All right. Then away we go. Anything else you have to say, boys? Let's go! The others are waiting, so let's get to the dining hall. Alright, 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 If there's any reason to look around my room, I'll look around later. For now, let's just continue on what we're doing. Let's keep an eye out for more Monokuma dolls now that we're in a new chapter, though. They could be wandering around anywhere. Most of the time, the collectibles were in new rooms, though, that weren't available to us. Like, at least that's how it was in Danganronpa 2. Obviously, Danganronpa 1 didn't have these collectibles. But, yeah. Um, anything else, Kaito, or...? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I get it. I get it, let's go. J let's jaddy. Jaddy. Let's save ourselves time and run over here around this way. Do the thing. Ooh, a Monokuma, that was easy. Found one! 
Give me. Yeah, look at him lounging over there, motherfucker. We got him. Easy. Too easy to catch a Monokuma when he's laying around like a little Damaduma. Scabba, Badipa Dapa Dopa. Let's see what's going on in the dining hall. Hey, 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 hey. There's a. Ooh, it's everybody. Writing. Honest. Yeah, like someone tried to hide writing in grass. Weird, right? Uh, hmm. Atua says it's just graffiti. Yeah. No, we don't got to worry about it anymore. Jeez. Atua, that's even more suspicious. My, my. Oh, are you saying Atua is suspicious? How sad. Cut it out. That's none of your business. Jeez. What's up with you guys? Are you still talking about that graffiti? Whatever. I brought Shuichi, so let's start breakfast already. I quickly realized that everyone was staring at me. Nah. <gasps> As I expected, they were looking at me with surprise on their faces. I don't have my hat on, right? Yup. Now he's even more generic. Black hair. Basic bitch ass. Main character. He doesn't even have the hat anymore. At least the hat made him unique. Now it's all gone, dude. Now it's all gone. Um, you finally got rid of that emo hat. Is this because Kayeti died or whatever? <laughs> or whatever. Quiet, you male. Learn some manners, why don't you? Oh, huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. And you can stand to learn some manners too, you insensitive jerk. No, I just felt like it was getting in the way is all. Getting in the way. Uh, um... You don't have to stare. I just took off my hat. It's not that big a deal. That is correct. You are right. My apologies. I... I like it. I think you look more handsome with your hat off. Thank you. Uh, uh thank you? <laughs> Heh. <laughs> How nice for you. I'm like plain Jane over here who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off. Um, I am plain. But it's the other way around. Taking off my glasses reveals my true form. <laughs> Didn't you know? Those who see my true form pay a terrible price. Listen up. Uh, uh, anyway, don't be late anymore, Shuichi. We already decided we're eating breakfast together. This is stupid. You decide that on your own. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. I prepared breakfast for everyone. Huh? Really? You did? That is correct. Indeed. It was no trouble at all. I have prepared an Italian omelette, buttermilk pancakes, smoked salmon galette. And for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I have prepared rice balls and miso soup. Hey! Kirumi, be my mom! <laughs> Gunta want you to be his mom, too! What are you two even saying? Kibo does not have mother. Oh, yeah. Does not compute. Oh, yeah! I'll show you guys something really neat. Look, look, when Himiko eats, she makes the cutest face. Oh, God. We get it, dude. Get off Himiko's dick already. Ah, she's like a small animal. Stop it. You're making it hard for me to eat. We chatted casually as we began eating the food Kurumi brought out. At least somebody's a chef. We need one of those. Amazing. Gonta, not be too flatter, but all oh, this food's so yummy. Excellent. <laughs> it's so delicious. It makes me want to cut off my tongue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The rice balls aren't just ordinary old rice balls either. <laughs> the outside is packed tightly so it won't fall apart, but the inside is so nice and soft. And because the rice balls are crushed, you can taste every sweet sticky grain even when it's cold. Jeez. Hey, do you have some sort of god tongue or something? May I? By not crushing the rice, air is able to flow between each individual grain. The triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining a loose grip as you form the shape. You will find it much easier if you imagine yourself gripping it with your entire body. I can't make rice balls. I can't even tell the difference between rice and termites. Hey! How have you survived this long? Huh? What's wrong, Keyboy? You're not eating. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot you can't eat, you know? Because you're a robot. Hey. Hey, now. Don't look so down. I'll bring you a broken TV later. Well. I don't want that. I'm not a waste receptacle. <laughs> Kibo and Kokichi seem to be getting along swimmingly. Sure. Swimmingly. <laughs> I like... 
I like Keo just standing over there with his fucking arms like. <laughs> anyway, we were having a normal conversation as if nothing had happened. Like, Kaede wasn't hung in front of us playing the piano and just crushed to death right in front of us. But we all knew it wasn't really normal. It was forced conversation. Fair enough. But that's to be expected. That incident that just happened yesterday, after all. Everyone's forcing themselves, that's why. That kind of forced normalcy is just making us remember what happened. <sighs> huh? What's the matter, Shuichi? If you're not going to eat this, I'll just help myself. Uh, sorry, uh, hey, I was going to eat that. I pushed those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoveled food in my mouth. By the way, that thing Gonta talked about earlier. Are we going to check it out? Ah, fucking virgin! Uh, I, uh, uh, why you call him a virgin? All he said is he doesn't want to check it out. Or he wants to check... What? what, what? That was fucked up. That's fucked up, Miu. Also, quit fussing over some lousy graffiti and worry about your shitty future instead. Huh? Graffiti? Um... Oh, Gonto find it this morning. Hey! On concrete hidden in grass. Words, horse A, written there. Let me think for a second. If it's like an anagram for something, I'm trying to think. What else could be this? What like what could what could this be an anagram for? Because backwards A E S R O H doesn't really mean anything. Upside down. B A S. The problem is the R doesn't really think seem to translate upside down. It's gonna be like O Y. Bez, bez, be, uh, bat, bat, bat. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It's either horse A or it's bass something. Bass, uh, oi something. I don't know. No, ba bass noi, bass roy, bass noi, bass, bass, bass to I. Bass. Hmm. What letter could that be upside down? What letter looks like that? No letters look like that, and this is an I, but that doesn't make sense either. Hmm. Or it's an anagram, like I say. If it's an anagram, you could spell ashore. Like a shore, ashore, like you washed ashore. Could be uh, man, I don't even know. It could be a lot of things. It could be sea whore. I don't know. There's a lot of things this could be potentially. I guess we'll just wait and see if we have some some hints as to what it could mean. Because right now, I don't have a very good idea. It also could just say horsey because somebody likes Pokemon, but who knows? Anyway, all right. Huh? What do you think it means? Well, it. Its meaning is entirely shrouded in mystery. I see. Not even the ultimate anthropologist knows. I thought it was some anthropology thing. Yo. Uh, sorry. Wait. Well, how about it, Suichi? Let's hear the ultimate detective's opinion. Huh? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know either. But, but... Kunta, I'm surprised you were able to find that graffiti hidden in the grass. Feeling divine? Do you channel the divine too? No. Oh, that cause of tiny bugs. Mm -hmm. Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Um. Yeah, Gunta think that before, but. But. When walked walking in courtyard, Gunta think he see tiny bug. But bug so tiny even Gunta no could see it, and Gunta have twenty zero point six two five eyesight. So maybe Gunta just make mistake, but Gunta think. Maybe. No, maybe Gunta just see things. Degenerate. Yeah, just make up your mind already, you degenerate. So, you found that message while you were out chasing some bug? Oh. Wow, Gonta, you did it! I knew I could rely on you since the moment we met. Huh? What? Really? It's true! Yep, so you should work for me. Got it. Okay. What? <laughs> what? You're going to agree to it just like that? Hey! Be careful, Gonta. That guy's a real liar. Huh? What? Really? Ah, no way! Thank goodness! Good, then Gonta have no reason to worry! Huh? Will you just believe anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Gonta, you're so gullible. You know, if you keep being this gullible, you'll be killed before you know it. 
understand. Holy shit, look at that face. That is a creepy AF face. Also, my eye just started watering. That was annoying. Um, what the fuck, Kokichi, with your white ass hair and your sneaky black face creepiness, purple eye shit. Ah. What the hell was that? Ooh, even Shuichi caught that, huh? The moment Kokichi said that word, the warm and casual mood shattered. What's the matter? What's wrong, everyone? Is there a problem with Kokichi's advice? <laughs> oh, Kokichi. You know, say you know, should say thing like that, even as joke. Mm -hmm. Huh? Say what, Kill? Has the K word been banned? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> but that's not very reasonable, is it? Not when the killing game is still happening. Mm -hmm. How can you be so insensitive, especially after what happened yesterday? I'm that is why I hate degenerate males. They're also about as considerate as amoebas. Hey. Don't complain if some scary guy yells, what colors your blood in you? You really don't get it. It's that kind of talk that lets Monokuma play you all like fiddles. Huh? What? Oh? Oh, did you hear that? Don't mind me. I was just talking to myself. Okay. You say so, bruh. Hello! <laughs> Looks like you guys are having a good ass time. Let me join in. Yeah, they're having a jolly good old time ganging up on me. What? Isn't that your fault? Huh? Hmm, ganging up? Hey. No bullying! Bullying is not cool! Bullying is the worst! Personally, I think bullying is because of lousy parenting. <laughs> it's all the parents' fault. They should do a better job raising their kids. Why are you even here? I figured I'd give you guys a prize for surviving the class trial. Huh? A prize? Rise and Shiner sign! Oh boy, here they come once again. Rise and Shiner sign! Indeed. Um, um, the reward, right? We brought it, yep, so uh, I'll just give it to you then. Huh? Hmm? My kids seem a little under the weather. Well, even so, they're still freaking adorable. Think. Are you being bullied? <laughs> huh? Huh? That's a... I understand. From experience. From experience? Himiko, were you the victim of bullying in the past? Is that why your heart is broken and you can't express real emotions anymore? You're the worst of the worst! Use your magic to turn the human rejects who bullied you into misshapen wretches! Stop it. I don't use magic for stuff like that. And don't make up my backstory. Huh? Huh? Hold on! The Mata Cups bully each other! What? No way! The Monocup should always get along! Oh hey, you kids play nice together, right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? Even if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? We are all friends. <laughs> we all get along always. Wow. Monodam is clearly the new leader. Huh? Oh, yes, we do. Right. See? Oh. See? My children are good kids. They would never bully each other. Bullying will never stop because of people like you. Oh well. It's weird because this is like the most we've heard Himiko talk. Anyway, well, I think the threatening vibe we Monocubs give off is poison. And that's that. Because we're a team of scary bears, and so we're gonna drag all y'all yous down to hell. <laughs> Such adorable little badasses. Anyway, we're gonna end up with the rewards you've all been waiting for. And what's that? What the? What? Listen up. Because we got these here fabulous, nonsensical prizes for you. A dragon gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport, and a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. <laughs> so much about this. So many references. What the ass. These prizes all come in a bundle. Awesome. We got a bundle of prizes. Wow. What a bunch of random junk. Bravo. Bravo. They might be. Maybe they're used for something around the what? school? What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with this? To tell you the truth. Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for. Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easier to move forward than backward. How nice. No. Don't get inspired by him, Gunta. Yeah. Anyway, that's the situation, so just do your best however you please. 
Okay. Let's go. You're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking since our secret weak point. Secret weak point? You mean the name of our next? Not anything, anything, or not that, anything but that. Actually, wait, so the name of your next is your weak point? I would never do that. I just want to get along. What? Get along? Really? stupid. Don't let him fool you. He killed Monica, remember? Wow, so the, the Monocubs are against each other all of a sudden. Interesting. They got their own little killing game going on, don't they? That's going to be interesting to see how that plays out while we're also killing each other. Hmm. Seeing that robot looking one. Robot looking one get left out makes me think of Kibo. Huh? Am I really excluded? Hey. So, uh, what should we do with this junk? Could it be? Maybe we need to use these on those mysterious things all over campus. However, and what will happen when we do? Uh, I'm not sure. See? Well, we'll know once we try. I'll take the junk then. Nah. Nah, nah let's leave this to Shuichi. Huh? What? Me? Hey! You're the ultimate detective, yeah? You should be uh, good at weirdo puzzles like this. Got it. So I'm gonna leave it to you. Oh, great. Okay. okay. I'll try. What abs? I guess that's fine. So I need to go around the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for. All right, let's get going. There was a lot of random, like interactive, interactable objects and spots around the school. So this is going to be an interesting part of the game to actually make me go around and look for things. Okay, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of okay with this.